Alright, they're taking him down right now. stake out an area uh, supposedly one of our witnesses here has said that his friend who's just freshly stolen a car is coming to pick him up so we're gonna wait in the area as soon as he picks him up we're gonna try to swoop in and snatch him up yeah we have a car right now he's on the front side of the public plaza right now he's coming out on 520 Okay, our air unit's following the uh, the suspect vehicle right now, and we're going to hang back a little bit so as we don't spook him. We're kind of waiting to see where he parks, and we're going to try to get up on him. All right, guys, he's going to the uh, west side of the mall, west side of the movie theater right now. Anybody got some mall entrances with stop sticks? All right, he knows that he's parking. What do you want to do? All right. Moving in, in the Sears, south side. All right, they're taking him down right now. 2651. Want me to orbit? Can I yeah, orbit? Yeah, hold what you got, yep. I'll hold what I got. 721 from the north side. All right, he stopped. He's running right now. He's running. What's that? Okay. Direction. He's running westbound. Run right into us. Run right into us. We got him. All right, he's out on. Fort Mary. Hang on. There's parking lot. Any guns, knives, bombs, or anything else on your person right now? No. Yes or no? no? Where's the other guy in a black shirt? I didn't see another guy. Was there another guy with you? No. What? Who? No. no? What's your name there, partner? What? Josh. What? Josh. Josh? Yeah. We're going to stand up. You understand me? You ready? Get up. Okay, turn around and look at me. Hang on, hang on, guys. Hang on. Is your car here? Have a seat there, partner. What exactly was going on today? I don't know, it's been a long day. A long day? What was the deal with the car and the running and all that stuff? I was being chased, so I ran. You were being chased? Who was chasing you? The gray car. Well, it wasn't chasing me, but it was following me. Uh-huh. Why, uh, wh why'd you think they were following you? I didn't think so at first, then I knew he was. Uh huh? At first, I wasn't sure if he was, and then. So you just. Uh, I wasn't what? planning on running, it just ended up that way. This is a long way to go to not plan on running. Josh, look at me. What is going on? Nothing? Okay. Um, basically, at this point, we're going to bring you up to the precinct, and uh, our detective is going to talk to you a little bit. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I, I assure you, whatever's going on, we're going to uh, get to the bottom of all of it. So you up there? Okay, so this is stuff you already got out of the uh, out of the car. Yeah. yeah. Where? This was uh, in the back seat. This was in the front seat. Okay, so we're probably looking at somebody's stolen stuff and these uh, radios. I don't know if you guys heard about it on your shift, but we had a bunch of uh, car burglaries in the mall where they've been using these two-way radios. That's we managed right, to get right. on one of their frequencies and listen to them. We weren't able to catch them. So it looks like this is probably at least one of the two guys that were doing that. So this is, this is a good hit for us because we get this guy with a stolen car. We get all the property, and it looks like we probably have solved the, uh, 
the, the car burglaries here. We got a unit right in front of us. Uh, they got some moving violations on this car up here. We're going to back them up and be the secondary unit behind them. Turn the car off. Yep, it's gone. We're, we're going to stop this car, and it looks like for some traffic violations, and he's not stopping. I need DL2 on with him. He's doing circles, so we're thinking maybe he's probably going to try and, try and bail. Is that the driver? Yeah, we got the driver. Okay. Check the car, check the car. There's people in the car still, guys. Turn around. I know you did. Why is he running? I don't even know. What was he saying? I don't know. He was just like, that's my, that's my ex-boyfriend. He just kind of picked us up, sir. Why is he running then? I don't know. What's his name? Ricky. Why is he running? Oh. Is he wanted? No, sir. He on, I thought he on paper, sir. He's on paper, though? Yes, sir. So you got dope in the car, you think? No, I don't know. I know not. Is that his car, or did he steal it? No, that's his brother's car. That's his brother's car? You I think his brother's going to be upset? I know he is. Yeah. I don't play like that. So you, he didn't say why he was running, huh? No, sir. I swear to what God. What was he saying when we first got behind him? Nothing. I said, stop the car. He wouldn't stop. Didn't say nothing, huh? Why'd you run? Man, my license is been You're going to violate your parole now because you got a suspended license, huh? Yes, sir. They stayed with the car, so they'll more than likely be on their way. Come on out, young lady. Don't kiss him. After he just put you in all that danger and stuff? Have a seat. Can you fix my, my arm? Have a seat. You ran for more than just a suspended license. Inside the door panel here, uh, this is kind of raised up. So uh -huh. I stuck my finger in it, pulled it back. And up here, there's a little magnetic key holder thing. Oh, perfect. With the, opened it up, and there's a couple Baggy. little sacks of crack rock. Now we know why I ran, huh? One of the females has a little bag like that, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I found a, a bunch of these, uh, these right here. I'm going to go ask them about this, Bobby. We found this in the car, Ricky. You know what's in it? Yes, sir. You don't know? That's not even my car. That's not even your car? Yes, sir. So this crack ain't yours? Yes, is this why you ran? Because you, that car's full of crack and baggies, a trace crack? So my license is been. You know you're going to get charged with it, right? I'm pretty sure I am. All right. You guys find any more? Yeah, so we uh, uh, front passenger seat. There was this, this brown purse inside the purse. It was a little piece of paper with some just some residue, uh, baggies with residue on it. Crumbs of, of crack and stuff on the floorboard. Just kind of. I don't know if they were just trying to get rid of it or just they just do that much. There's just stuff everywhere. I want to show you something that we found in your purse. Yep. Cause this is your purse, right? Yeah, the brown I one, my right? My cousin uses my purse all the time. Yeah, your cousin uses your purse all the all time. The time. So, because we found that in oh, your that purse. That's not yours? No, sir. But it's your purse? Yes, sir. And, uh... I just went and got my purse, everything. That's when I got my phone, I got all my stuff. So you don't know how that pot of cocaine got in your that's purse, huh? God. That's not mine. You're gonna get charged with it, you know that. Don't charge me with that. Well, this is your purse. You said, my brown purse, and we found this inside your brown Please. purse. I swear to God. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like him, huh? Well, I wouldn't lie to you. All right, let's have a seat in the car. She's going to be charged with possession of controlled substance. The other girl's going, too, for possession. We got some more powder. Some more powder there. He's got them individually or, you know, packaged. I think that's why they ran. Observing a black four-door vehicle up ahead. Um, he has dark tinted windows. So that is my probable cause for the stop. I'm going to try to light them up.
five, Alpha 21. Can I have a unit respond? I have a uh, vehicle refusing to stop. We are on Sunrise Boulevard eastbound, just east of 31st Avenue. We are about to go northbound on 29 Terrace. Black Mitsubishi, we are northbound on 12th Street. We are on 13th and 29th. Black male running, we're running between the houses. Snap, are you gonna get tased? Okay, I'll stop. That's not. I ain't going on. Ah, get him down, get him down. <laughs> Give me your other hand. He's got a big bag of dope right here. Talk to big bag of dope. All right. Is, you, is, is that your car right there? Yeah. Can we put him in there real quick? Yeah, they stand up a 21, he's in custody. I'm good. Hey. He tried jumping the fence and was very unsuccessful. Apparently, he got caught, which actually helped me catch him. He had, a, he had a felony amount of marijuana on him and a lot of money, which we'll probably be confiscating and using that as evidence as long as, and more money here. Yo, I tried to call earlier on my car. Whose car is that? My girl's. She stayed right there. She stays where? Right in back of this uh, apartment right here in the yellow house. What'd you roll for, man? Because. Because what? What'd you roll for? I'll give a girl you make You'll be able to make your phone call when you're in jail. I found a felony amount of marijuana. It's over 20 grams, so which is pretty good for us out here. Um, it's a felony amount of marijuana plus the money, which uh, obviously is proceeds from drug sales, which we'll be confiscating along with the car. We're going to be taking that as well. Yeah, 331, we're over this way. Right now, we're heading to the east side of the city. Uh, our helicopter is following a vehicle that's possibly stolen. Uh, it's been crossing state lines, running from Kansas, running from us. It's ran a few times, ran yesterday. And we're in the area, so we're going to try and catch up to him right now. Be advised, he's dragging something behind him. He's swinging around. He's running cars off the road. It doesn't come back stolen, but it's there he is right there. He's coming right in front of you. In 1928, two car just passed us on Front Street doing about probably 75, 85 miles an hour. He's still running through red lights. There's no police cars behind him. He's going to run somebody else the road here pretty quick. Go ahead and initiate a pursuit. Uh, we have now been allowed to initiate a pursuit of this vehicle. And we've kind of been hanging out and following for the last uh, 20, 30 minutes. That's uh, going to be a blue Dodge pickup that's right in front of us right now. There's quite a few cars in the area. Don't get us off, guys. Right now, we're secondary. Okay, he's coming up on Riverfront Road and he's gonna 
And bailed into these woods here. He's not in the vehicle. We're not going to go any further. No. We know no. 690 they didn't come back out this way, so. Our canine's trying to uh, pick up a scent on the guy. I think they said it was a black shirt, but I'm not sure. Stand up. Scoot up. Scoot back. All right. Ready? Hey, at 330, yeah, he was primary on this. We're going to go up that way. I don't know. However you want to deal with it. Who are you running for? Uh, I got warrants. He definitely gave us a run for your money. Right. Go this way. Hey, Chris. Just while he's doing that, talk to me. What were you running for again? Warrants. Warrants? The felony warrants, city warrants, what? Felony warrant out of Kansas. Well, I'm pretty sure they brand you, and you don't have any warrants. I don't. No. No warrants. No. So you've got to have a reason to run. I thought for sure I had a warrant, because I was out on bond. I'm on bond supervision. OK. You definitely didn't steal the car, because nobody runs for just nothing. No, I thought I had warrants. You got a valid driver's license? Yes, sir. You got a valid driver's license, no warrants? All right. Just so you know, you're going to jail tonight for felony eluding. All right, among several other traffic charges, uh, you'll probably be arrested, you know, on investigation for driving a stolen auto as well. You realize you could have killed somebody tonight the way you're driving, driving like a maniac. All that for nothing, right? No warrants, no nothing. Yeah. We're en route to uh, the east side to assist the units behind a stolen plates on a vehicle. The vehicle is failing to yield. You want sticks? No, there's sticks out at steel somewhere. He's going to come this way, bro. He's yeah, going to come this I way. Know, I know. I'm... I can get sticks. There's, there's sticks out already somewhere. Sticks are right there. Josh has got sticks. Get him out, Josh. Get him out. Get him out. Get out of the way, Josh. Get out of the way. Let's see what he does. He's going to go straight. There's a car right here. Got him. Positive contact with the Got a car. Go, 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 go. Tandem. Positive contact with the sticks. Oh, Ooh, he's losing his time. Yep, it's going to be a foot chase here. He's going to go straight. Pet him, pet him. He's going into the apartment complex. Appreciate what's on approaching the uh, TW extension. Or are you actually in the North Cape Village apartments now? Get it's up on him. You ready? You ready? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Stop fighting us! Stop resisting! I got cuffs. Stop fighting with us! Stop resisting! Stop fighting! Get it, get it, get it! Get him it. In there. Got the other guy back in the car. All right, don't move. You understand? Thank you. 
Alright, stand up. Stand up. You guys got him? I'm not! Mom! Okay. My arm is popping out socket, don't! Have a seat, please. Watch your head. My arm. Thank you. You okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Sit up for me. Are you okay? <laughs> you gonna be okay? My Okay. I'm gonna take care of that in just a second, okay? I'm gonna get some medical aid to look at you, all right? So make sure you're okay. So give me a few seconds, okay? I'll be back with you. He's got a what, what? in his front pocket? Needle. Needle? Just letting you know. Yep, there it is. Is that the only needle, man? Yeah. Anything in it? We had one of the guys on uh, the east side got in a little chase with it, this truck that has stolen plates on it. They haven't figured out yet if the truck itself is stolen. The driver they have in custody right down there. And then the two other passengers, one is here and then one is uh, just down the road here. OK, you were obviously the center uh, passenger in the car. Tell me, tell me what was going on. Um, they picked me up from my mom's house. I didn't know the driver, but my friend came and picked me up. And we walked to the car, and they said that there was a cop that followed them and turn their lights on. And uh, I got the car, and one of them peed outside the car and got in the car, and we were started to drive away, and the cop turned his headlights on. And when he turned his headlights on, he the driver freaked out. Just jumped out of the car while I was rolling still. It just jumped out of the car. OK, so you didn't know the car was stolen then? I had no idea. All right, thanks. Well, the vehicle came back stolen. The plates on it were stolen. Bike strips were deployed. And they did their job. It brought this chase to a quick end. I'm not here. I'm sorry. We're in the number one lane still east, huh? Now we've got a sergeant in pursuit on the 210. We're going to kind of wait for him to come by. We're going to see which way this guy goes. OK, looks like this here is our guy that he's going to be chasing. Unknown at this time what he's uh, the subject's being pursued for. The subject's obviously not willing to stop. If he came from Colton, Colton's about 20, mi 20 miles, actually maybe about 10 miles east of this city. So he's obviously been pursued for quite some time right now. Uh, one of our sergeants picked up the primary position in the uh, pursuit. Our canines also went in with us as well. Uh, we're we're going to let K-9 try and get the uh, get up in the front in case the uh, suspect uh, decides to take off running. K-9 in the left. Where are they at? Stop resisting. Give us your hand. Give us your hand. Stop moving. Please. We still got one outstanding at this time. Please. I'll give up. Yeah. They're taking him into custody. We're going to be setting up a perimeter. We've got one more outstanding. This is obviously our driver right now. Oh. Oh. I got to I got to play. What's your name, man? Taxi. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sam. Uh, we switch out these clubs right here for the Fontana officer. We're going to go talk to the first suspect that we caught. Uh, doing this. See if maybe he wants to tell us what's going on. What's going on? Uh, I don't know what's going on, man. All I want to do is go home to my child and my wife, man. Why are you guys running from the police, though? I wasn't running. He was driving. I don't know. Well, was he saying anything to you or what? He ain't telling me to get the back, leave the car alone, because he kept... What do you mean, leave the car alone? Because I was trying to put the, the stick, trying to get him to stop, and he wouldn't stop. OK. 
you pay me gas money to drop him off somewhere. So how'd you end up in the passenger seat if you're dropping him off? Because he told me to get over. He told me to get the out or I'm going to beat you up. Get the in the back or I'm going to you up. And that's a big dude. Look how small I am. I ain't trying to get up by no dude like that. Dude won't let me get out the car. Well, how'd you switch seats if you didn't get out of the car? I know you didn't slide over him. He's nah, too big. Nah, he threw me in the back seat. Oh, OK. So that's actually your car. It's my girlfriend's car. It's your girlfriend's car. Does your girlfriend know that you're driving it and you guys are involved in a high-speed pursuit? Uh, not that. I don't think she knows that part. But she knew you were driving it, so we're going to yeah. call her up and she's going to say, yeah, my you, my boyfriend's allowed to have the car. Nah, she ain't going to say that. She's not. So she, that car's probably stolen. It probably is. It probably is. Yeah. Did he know that the car was stolen? You know what? I don't know if he knew or not. So then why was he running? I, you know, I have no idea. I don't know why that fool got hysterical like that. I don't know what's going on with somebody else's mind. But me, I was going to pull over when you turned the lights on me. What's going on in your mind when you pick up somebody you don't know and then you steal your girlfriend's car? Nah, he was going to give me gas money. I needed gas. <laughs> OK, man. That uh, makes no sense. But if it that's the way. Well, if you ask her, she'll tell you the same thing. I give people rice for gas, man. Oh, OK. I don't, I don't really believe your story, man. We found out from uh, Colton Police Department that they've been having a lot of robberies all over the city, subjects with uh, what they thought was their real hair, it could, but people were also thinking that it could have been wigs and other things. They're uh, searching the suspect vehicle. Apparently, they're finding a bunch of evidence, uh, wigs, sunglasses, fake guns. They may be two suspects wanted for robberies all over town. It's, a, it's fake. Who knows what else they've been doing around town, robbing people, making their lives miserable. So this is actually a really good arrest. Uh, it looks like a, uh, a bank robbery just uh, just occurred in a different area command. And uh, it looks like it's heading this way. I wanted to bail down at a high rate of speed. He's going to be east of our location. The vehicle's still going. And, uh, it looks like uh, as they wrapped a the corner right there, they uh, dropped two suspects, and they pretty much jumped out of the vehicle and bailed. There's going to be a couple units going after them. Go ahead when you're ready. It looks like we're going to do a pit here, and then we're going to try and take this guy into custody. He's doing northbound. Northbound. Still northbound. Northbound. Still northbound. We've got a lot of pedestrians in the area. Stand by. Like he's, uh, he's doing pretty good speeds right now. He's about 45 miles an hour. Um, 12 northbound, coming up to Washington. If we get an area where there's not too many pedestrians or traffic, we we'll attempt a pit maneuver. Like North Town's going to join in with oh, us. Yeah. Uh, North Las Vegas with us as well. We are still eastbound. Uh, we are getting ready to go. Still eastbound and stand by for the caution. To McDaniel, eastbound to McDaniel. Eastbound to McDaniel. He's got a flat tire. Might take him down here. And here comes. Let me see your hands. Get down to the ground. I need some hooks. Hold on, hold on. Slow up for 413. Yeah, anything on you? Negative for weapons. Legs. Good. Roll over on your butt on the right. Stand up. Walk this way. Oh, we got the water, right? We got both. We got two cups. The other one got taken to custody at coroner's office. Pretty good part. You got ID on you? No. No? Anything illegal on you, Sharp's going to poke sick or cut me. What's your first name? What's your first name? Is that you, Carl? A bag, we got a mask, we got gloves. Hey, how are you, friend? You okay? We have medical coming for you, all right? This your wallet? 
Is your ID in there? His social security card's in there. I gave it to uh, one of the other officers. This. And that medical come check you out, make sure that you're okay. At this point, we got a lot of time. But the first thing I want, no, look at me. Carl, look at me. Look at me. Because there's a lot of people whose lives were endangered over the last 20 minutes. Okay? I tried to stop it back at the auto parts store. But it, for some reason, you were still intent on going. All right, so we are going to get this resolved, but first we're going to get you checked out. You understand? Carl, look at me. All right, everybody else that fell out of the car back there by the coroner's office, we have. What have you been arrested for? Okay. Talk to me, because it's over at this point, okay? It's over. It's, um, sorry, my brother had nothing no, no. to do with nothing. No, 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 man. shh, shh, shh. Listen, okay. I'm talking about who you are right now. Uh, I'm Carl. My brother had nothing to do with nothing, man. I just let him out. I don't want him to get charged with nothing. He had nothing to do with anything. I'm just running them right now. I'm trying to find out. He's got priors for uh, attempt murder, um, battery with deadly weapons, uh, robbery. So he's been at this a long time. The other guy, they got him in custody. Right. And uh, they also found a gun on him. Yeah, I did hear they found a gun over there. So was there a third one outstanding? Or there was that... a third one outstanding. I don't think we've picked him up yet. OK. But he bailed uh, out way back where the pursuit began. I'm sure these guys won't stand too much longer as to saying who that guy was. So no, he's, I'm sure we'll find him. He knows he's been had, so. Yeah, and this is going to be our, probably our guy we're looking for anyway, so. Yeah. Especially with his record. We have a pursuit with a uh, suspect from a family violence. We have a supervisor and several deputies behind him. And we're trying to catch up to him. My suspect just went northbound on Ella. He's in the wrong lane at northbound on the southbound lanes, Ella. That's firm if he's back on the northbound sides of Ella. Now we're approaching Greens. Approaching Greens Parkway. Parkway. He wrecked, he wrecked. He wrecked out. Tom Bigger one is lower by Hillsdale. I have to say you can slow down. All right, we're still southbound. We're now passing West 40, West 34th. West 34th, still southbound. Back up to North Main. He went straight through the red light, North Main. He's, he is just smoking it. He is flying southbound. 41 Frank 34, all right. Houston, he just crashed out. South of Collinsworth. He's on foot, running uh, east, I believe. He's bound in a field, I think. ex-wife's uh, broke in the back door and uh, started beating them all down. I mean, beat down his ex-wife, her boyfriend, now, and her daughter. I mean, he, he broke in the back door. I mean, I've never seen a door kicked in like that. Okay. All thing I was trying to try to tell you was, good job. I ain't really mean to win, y'all. Man, do you know how long you ran? <laughs> I know, I just No, no, seriously. I know, I ran a long time. I'm just like, whose car is that? It's mine. Good. You messed up. <laughs> this yeah, totaled. It, it's totaled, Bubba. And using it in a commission of crime, your insurance ain't gonna cover it. You just lost it. Huh? Sit up, man. Sit up on your bottom. Right. And don't move from there. I'm not gonna move. All right. I'm gonna tell you what happened tonight. What? I know what happened, but you go ahead and tell me your verdict. You got blood on her. No, 14, that's good. What happened tonight? There's a probe right there at your foot. What my, no. what my, what my ex -wife, I was talking to my ex-wife earlier today. We've been going to marriage counseling. Oh, there it is. And no, we've been trying to get back together. Yeah. 
And, you know, I'm sorry, y'all, man. You should have just pulled over, man. I, want, I wanted to. You had plenty of chances. You know how many lives you risked tonight with us trying to catch you? You know how many officers risked their lives tonight to catch you? But, you know, you know, I just like. You know what would have happened if an officer would have crashed out and died chasing after you? Can I get up now? The car destroyed now. Everything destroyed. It don't matter, man. If an officer would have got hurt chasing you tonight, mm -hmm. you would have got the charge for that. You understand? Okay. You were silly. I was very silly tonight. All you had to do is pull over. I didn't We'd have been like, a lot more gentle. I didn't feel like going to jail tonight. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> he was sliding from about a couple poles back coming into here. This is where it culminated. He trashed his car right into this here pole. He bailed out. He ran behind the houses over to our left. He refused my commands, deployed taser, got him in the side, and took him into custody from there. Uh, we're getting ready to roll into an apartment complex well known for drug activity. What we're going to try to do is go in, look for anybody suspicious, deal or possibly dealing narcotics, and jump out on them. Okay, he's parking. Uh, let's cut him off, LV. Cut him off. LV, block it off. Don't let it out. All right, we got everybody? We good? Everybody out? Yeah. All right. You know what? When I die, die. Right. All 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 right. What's going on, partner? Why'd you run? Because I already knew what it was. Let me guess. What did you know? Yes, I was scared because y'all been coming over here. I ain't been over here. So why'd you run? Because I already knew. Knew what? I already knew that I already knew what was going on. What did you know what was going I on? I knew that the police be coming over here. Then why'd you run? You... Because I don't have nothing, though, sir. So you I don't have nothing? Then why would you run? Sir, because I already know how I already know how it works. You already I'm know so how it works? I ain't got no warrant. I ain't got nothing. Why'd you try and run over one of my officers? I didn't try to, no, I didn't, I did Man, not try you to run hit me and one of my sir, officers. Sir, I did not try to run him over. You didn't try I and run him no, over? No, sir, I, I didn't run him over. I went to the other side. So why'd you run then? Because I knew that y'all was come, gonna come. I knew y'all was gonna do this. Well, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, then why I'm would you run? I'm chilling. At you my, just chilling? At my freeing house. What they did was they threw in all their cigarette butts in there. And a lot of times when they dip the cigarettes in PCP, they'll throw them in anything to try and hide the smell from us. But the stuff is so strong that you'll be able to still smell it. Here it is. Right up in here, you can see it. What is that, bud? Looks like crack and weed. All right, it looks like we're going to have uh, some crack cocaine and some weed. Common place to hide stuff is up there, the vibe. He, he found some more on the passenger side. You all right, Eric? Yeah. Where'd he hit you? When he was coming back towards us, he had stopped. Yeah. And I went up there to address him, and it's when he off getting with the car. Which so. side of the car? Passenger no, drive? Front passenger. He hit you on the front passenger side. You're OK? Yeah, I'm good. You're still, so. As you can tell, you can, you can see where he hit the tree. Right here, Bobby. You can see all the scuff marks along the side, broken the mirror. There's some bark down here, too. We got bark down on the ground. Why are you driving like that just for a little bit of weed up in your car? A little bit of weed in my car, sir. Up in the visors, man. You had weed up in there. You had a couple dime bags uh, of weed. Who? You. It's in your car. I know. I didn't have no weed in my car. What are you talking about, sir? It's up in the, it's up in the uh, roof, sir, man. I don't have no weed in my car, sir. You don't? No, sir. Okay. I, what, you said why, why were you driving like that, though? I, sir, I just... I mean, you were driving crazy. You went up in the apartment courtyard. Because, sir, I, mean, I was following me. What y'all following me for? What did I do for you to follow me? That's because we're the police, bud. We got to investigate crimes over here. I, I, Tonight, you're probably I'm, I'm going... to jail for what? You've been in a motor vehicle, ag assault against a public servant when you hit my officer. Oh, no, no. All right, well, I... I and and, and, your, passenger, and cool. your passenger will probably go to uh, jail for the weed up above him. And what about the weed that was above you? So we'll probably seize the car, too. How are you going to seize the car, sir? Because you ran. Because I ran. Yeah, you ran in the car. We can seize your car now. 
So when we jumped out, and, and I that's mean, when he knew we got who y'all was. And he, so I ain't so know. So you think he ran because he knew we were the cops and he had the weed and the warrants? He said it, so that's what I already, I already told you with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He had the weed and everything. Why don't you have a seat for me? Excuse me, sir. Like, I know I wasn't involved. Why don't you get your foot up in there? He was saying that the driver knew we were the cops, and that's why he was driving the way he was. Yeah, that's course. what he was telling me, too. Yeah, but the driver, of course, saying he didn't know who we were, and that's why he was taking off, even though he knows the cops are coming over here and jump out vans and stuff like that. Yep, yeah, that's, that's what he told me, too. So I guess we'll be taking him to jail for his warrants. He's evading an ag assault on a public servant. It's cool. a good night so far. Edward 10, 1059. Edward 10, go ahead. Uh, I got a truck right up here in front of me that he just rolled this stop sign right here. So we're going to go ahead and get up behind him, initiate a traffic stop, and see what his hurry is all about. Edward 10. We're going to be, looks like southbound on Rosedale, and be coming into a residence at about, I'm trying to see the address here, stand by. Going to be Oklahoma tag. Adam John Union. Hey! Lincoln 5, would you show me 27, hey. please? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Lincoln 5, 21. Edward 10, 10, 1063 foot pursuit. 10 forward, 63, 2100. Edward Hey, we're 10, I just lost him. I'm gonna be uh, right over here off West Admiral Boulevard in Rosedale. Came down through here. I thought he got caught in the bushes right here. He had red shirt, blue jeans. He came through here. I couldn't find him over here. He went this way somewhere. I think he's. I think. He got east of here. I don't think so. I think he laid down in here somewhere. If you can go right up here. Man, if we could, go ahead and all units out here on this scene, switch over to RMA-2B. Could you bring RMA-2B up and patch everybody together on that side, please? All county units go to RMA-2B. Dog's going to be out here. Uh, if we could, get somebody to monitor that for traffic. Okay, for? Okay. Yeah, white male. He's wearing blue jeans. Is he yelling? Is he yelling? Got subject in the yard over here. I'm back. Let's get him up. I'm back. Oh. Don't fight me. Oh, my muscle. Don't. I need some help. He's handcuffing him. Oh, you got your dog. I just need to get up. Give me your hands. I'm tasing you now. I don't try to. Ah. 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 I can't. Here, I Hold on, please. Don't run next time, buddy. What the what the Bring your feet up underneath you. Oh, get up. One, two, three. Get back on my leg. I can't stand, man. Need a hand? I can't stand. Now yeah, roll over. Standing up. One, two, three, let's go. I can't. Oh, come on. Have Ensign roll over here for a dog bite. What's your name, Dead Bird, man? Rich, huh? Richard? No, Brett. Right Brett? There. What's your date of birth, man? Seven. Six. Seven, Can I six. please have something to drink? Please, I'm done. When Emerson gets here, they'll get I'm you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. You're a man. No. Man up. Man up. <laughs> I'm already hurt. If you're tough enough to have two sleeves, yes. you're tough enough to take a dog bite. Yes, now man up. I'm sorry, Captain. Why did you run? You got warrants out for you? I just wanted to live a normal life. Well, you're gonna, you know what? 
maybe after you get out, maybe after you get out of county, you can try to get. Oh, I'll never be able to. This vehicle's stolen. They got some precursor items here for uh, methamphetamine, and I'm very familiar with this guy that uh, we have arrested, and uh, that was his old deal of choice. So we'll see. Uh, right now, he's going to be under arrest for possession of stolen vehicle, possession of precursor substances, resisting, and fleeing. What do you do? Edward Six, I was just flagged down at about Pine and Yale. It's a black vehicle just got stolen. Trying to catch up with the tag number. Female just flagged us down. We're heading uh, southbound on Winston right now, trying to catch up with him. There's a black car that just got carjacked. I got him. Can you get me up? My leg is stuck. Go to him. I got him. Right. Go to Brian. Oh, my leg is stuck. He's got one for pursuit. Oh, oh who's a pursuit? Did you taste him? I did. Who's a pursuit? Can you tell me? Hey, that's my car, so why, why am I in trouble? Oh. Lena gets his fence. Okay, that's you just said you stole it, okay? I didn't say Stay right there. I said she stole my car. Stay right there. No. Stay right there. Don't move. I stole it. She stole my car, sir. Stay right there. Come back over here. Why am I arrested? Because I took off in my car? Yep. So you are. So you are. Because you stole that car. Come on. That's my car. Come on. I ain't playing with you. OK, but that's my car. All right, come on. That's my car. All right, we'll so figure I... it out when we get over here. So how the hell am I? It's she Be quiet, stole... man. Lean against that truck cut there for a minute. Get your breath. Lean against that and get your breath. All right, lean against the car. I lean over breathe. on it. Damn. Lean over on it. I'm sorry, man, but she took my car and somebody took me up there to get my car back. You got some wheels, man, but dang. Huh? You got some wheels on you, but. No, I wouldn't. Either. All right, man, let's go now. I'll get this tasers out of your leads out of you. All right. Yeah. We'll explain everything when we get over here, okay? okay. Yeah, I just went and picked up my car, man. Damn. Because she took off anyway, I was at the house sleeping. You got to run from officer two weeks ago when you shoved one down and took off. Remember? No, I'm just saying, I mean, I shouldn't. You got some warrants and stuff, I know that. She shouldn't have put some for a dog. From running from the police officers? And... Chris, go up there to the store and tell my girl to come get the car. She can have it. That's why I'm in trouble. You want to tell us what happened here tonight and what went on? Uh, I was at the house sleeping, and she came in there and said she needed to use a car to follow one of her friends to drop off the baby. And then I told her to hold on, let me get my ass and spray at the car. And I had my arm in the window. She just took off, dragged me down the street, and some guy saw it and gave me a ride up there to the school. OK. Why'd you what run, though? Why'd you take off running right now? Huh? Why'd you take off running tonight? Oh, the other night? No, just tonight. Oh. What was your reason oh, tonight? Same off. reason, because you have 13 warrants Peace for your off. arrest. Yeah. Can you tell me what happened tonight, Sonia? Um, a couple nights ago, I guess he was headed to my house to, okay. he's been trying to get my car. I have a Charger of 22s. Okay. Um, he, can, you tell me, can, you, can you tell me what happened today? Um, um, this is, so it's pretty busy. You had a protective order. I was right here on this payphone, uh -huh. and I was kind of out in my car like this. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, he just came from this way, jumped in the passenger side, threw me out the car. I held onto the car. He, he drove off and charged really fast, and I held onto the car as long as I could. And he just ran me over and stole my car. And threw, two sheriffs drove by, and I said, Curtis, just stole my car. OK, that and was us that drove by. We okay. got your car back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. You don't understand. Okay. We just got a traffic officer that's in pursuit of a motorcycle. 
and uh, we're right down the block from it, so we're gonna go uh, help and see if we can get him. Sounds like he's uh, running blacked out about 100 miles an hour or more. Onto the freeway here. Other officers are right behind him. I'm just trying to get home, man. Okay. Well, you're not gonna make it home today. I guess not. It's just closed, that's all. He's got a suspended license, so he wanted to get home. I was just trying to get home. So, you have a suspended license, so you run from the police. I was scared, sir, you know? Okay, well, you went head on with me down there. Whoa. You went head on with me. No one ran me over. I didn't try to run over those. So you tried to kill two officers? Is that no, what you're trying I, to say? I, I didn't take I was just trying to get home. I'm sorry. So if you would have stopped, you would have got a ticket and you would have called for a ride. But no, you're gonna run, crash into police cars. I didn't crash no police cars. Yeah, car. you did. No, sir. There's damage on that car that you ran into. I did not I run into no car. Bro. I did not run into your car, sir. Who did? Your friend in your backpack or what? Hey, I didn't run into nobody. Okay. What's your name? My name's Adam. Adam, how many times have you run from the police, Adam, and got away? Because this ain't the first time. Why do you say that? Because I know. What happened here? Nothing, How'd you end sir. up right here? I didn't, I didn't want to run no more, so I was pulling over. No, you weren't. Well, I, I was trying to dodge a police car. You guys are trying to hit me. No, we weren't. We Come were trying to catch now. up to you. Come on, now. You were facing no, the wrong no, no, way. No. On, you were facing the wrong way on the on-ramp, and I came down, and you started taking off again. No, I didn't. So don't sir. sit there and tell me that you were not going to go take off again and try to ditch us over here. If you wanted to stop, you would have stopped way back there. Have a seat. How old are you? How old are you? Hey. How old are you? 21. Sir. 21? Ever been arrested? Yes. Sir. You on parole or probation? No, nothing. What? Nothing, sir. Nothing? So you've never run from the police before, is what you're saying? Yes, sir. You have? I'm clean. No, I haven't. Oh, OK. So you haven't run from the police before? Never in my life. So why this time? Just because yeah. you have a suspended license? Yeah, because uh, you know what? Not... Whose bike is it? It's mine. R run it. It's mine. OK. You know, you're going to jail tonight for uh, felony evading. Yes. All right. I think you were stopped. He tried to go around you, because I thought you thought I was going to come around you. Right. So you had stopped. And then he dumped it here, and then Mark blocked him in. All, so. all right, let's tow this thing out of here and uh, get him on his way to jail. And, uh, we're good good job, here. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Great I'll job. start typing the stuff up. We're going to try and catch up to this vehicle. Just ran the stop sign. Uh, he's been circling the area suspiciously. These residential back roads are really commonplace for street level drug trafficking. Bro, I want blackmail. Northwest 4th Street, 1100 block. Northbound, wearing a black tank top, black shorts. Street. All units, 
minus 1031. I just heard a door open and close in one of these backyards. Let me see your hands. Get your hands up. Let me see them. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Don't you move. You understand me? Northbound. Unit on 4th Street. Back up. I got them. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, hey, I'm in a backyard dispatch. I'm trying to get that for you. Stand by. Turn over on your back. Sit up. Get up, ready? One, two, three. Come here. Is there anything back there that you needed? Do you want to tell me why you ran? Do you have a warrant, something silly? Suspend a license? I just seen y'all. Adrian? Yeah. There's no lying about it. If it was over something silly. You run my name in the all right. Cut. Who's got a cage around here? Cut. Just put him in the car, uh, please. I'm going to go look for where he stopped. Tango Lima Lima, 790 He was behind this uh, house back here. All right, 10 4 just make sure somebody's out with you and that everything's 10 4 now. Everything. We are 10 4, thank you. Thank you, sir. Tango 33. Just be advised, play view on the passenger front seat. Large amount of marijuana. That's right. Perfect. That is why. <laughs> Three, four, we broke our control and that was dangling. Uh, there's supposedly a large amount of marijuana inside of the vehicle. He's stating he has no idea what we're talking about. Doesn't want to explain why he was hiding behind this house or why I'm 100% positive that that's who I was chasing. Where's the uh, weed at? It's with the tent. It's a big bag and then you gotta push it in the to play a oh, on the passenger seat right here. Nice. Uh, decent yeah. amount of marijuana. It's individually packaged, apparently for sale. And then a uh, much larger bag. It's probably at least 20 grams. Not bad. Was, Explains why you ran. He made it more than obvious that he did not want me behind his vehicle. Hey, it's his mom's car. And what he said to me was this. That he'll give you a full statement of why he was driving the car, why he ran, all his weed, as long as we don't forfeit his mom's car. Ten minutes ago, he didn't even want to say he was even driving the car. This is the marijuana that was located inside the vehicle. You see a fairly large stash here, but uh, what's going to get him is the individually packaged, looks like little dime bags, nick bags, about 15 individually packaged. Uh, the problem with them being individually packaged for resale is that it's going to be a felony charge. Originally, you were trying to tell me that wasn't you driving that I saw get out of the driver's side of the car and run. Well, that was my mama's car, man. All right, so you were driving your mom's car. Can you run me through it? Because I'm going to want, I, mean, I got to be the one to tell the story here. And I certainly don't want to put anything against you, you don't deserve. Yeah, you see me at the stop sign. I made a left. You made a U turn. I pulled up. I got out. That's when you cut on the lights. I went around the car. So why were you trying to avoid me? I mean, you were sitting well, in the middle of the I, street. I pulled in before you even cut off the lights. Is there any reason why you were trying to avoid me? I mean, would that large amount of weed on the front seat have anything to do with it? No, I smoke weed, though. You smoke weed? All right. What about the little baggies you got packaged in there? What's that I about? I smoke weed, bro. All right, Adrian. Our sergeant is trying to stop a motorcycle, and he says that it's running away from him, so we want to see if we can get caught up to him. Northbound on Weaver. Roll over, get your hand out of your pocket. Put your hand behind your back. Put it behind your back. When I got the privacy fence and got up on it, he was starting to get up and run again. I was able to deploy my taser and it was effective enough for you to get him in handcuffs. Get your hand out of your pocket. Oh, no. Seven forty two, we're stable. If we can just make sure both vehicles get secured. Just trying to look and see if it was stuck anywhere. It should be right in the middle of his back. There it is. 
Have a Watch that one right there. Okay, we're good. Partner, we're gonna stand up and we're gonna get out in the front of the house so we know where we're at. All right, don't do anything stupid. Stand up. Walk over here. Oh, man. Sit right there on that ledge. Is it stolen? Do you have dope on you? You got warrants? Steve, which one is it, man? Uh, scared. Didn't even look like a cop car. Look in this wallet. 740 St. Johnston route to the it's like a address. cellophane wrapper with some type of unknown pills in it. Generally, it's probably a prescription closed or controlled substance medication of some sort. We'll have to figure out what that is. It's not your wallet, even though I took it out of your back pocket? Uh, you're borrowing it. Yeah. But your ID was in it? What's up? Uh, it's like a debit card or credit card of a female and an ID belonging to the same female. Obviously not this subject. Possibly stolen. We'll have to uh, check, check on that. Who does it belong to then? The person. What person? It's not mine. Well, it's obvious that's not yours. You're not a female. But it's in the wallet with your ID and everything else, so it's kind of hard to pass that off as not being in your possession, partner. So, Stephen, why are we running, man? Oh. You don't know? Stupid. Well, yeah, you're right, it's stupid, but there's got to be a reason. I mean, we don't run just for the sake of running most of the time. Like he said, are you, you got warrants out? Did you, you warrants out? because you had those pills in your pocket? I mean, you know, is the motorcycle you're on, was it stolen? Anything? Like, I'm, I'm sure you were, that earlier. You weren't uh, running I'm just I'm because you wanted to run. it's probably not yours. You don't know whether or not it's stolen. Is that what you're going to, you're trying to tell me? What? 740. I don't know where. Someone let me use it. That's all I know. What's your date of birth, partner? What's your birthday? I'm sure you're old enough to know your own date of birth, aren't you? You guys got it right there on my ID, man. Yeah. Stop it. Oh, I know. He's not going to. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just go I'll fingerprint what, him and, and go that route. You not tell me, because you'll sit in jail and have to tell the judge. For it's what? up to you. It's up to you. Do you want to tell me and take care of your warrants now? Or do you don't wait and have to sit and see the judge? Got a cigarette? Nope. Nope. You don't want to tell us anything. We're not going to. Why would we be nice to you, you when out. you don't even want to tell us who you are? I mean, a cigarette. No, no, no that isn't the way this that game's game played. And you know that isn't the way this game's played. You want something from me, you can go ahead and be honest. So, whatever you've got hanging over your head, parole violation, probation warrant, whatever it is, you know you're going back, and that's the reason you want to play this game. That's fine, but you're just going to sit in jail even longer, and you're going to rack up more charges. All you got to do is come clean and tell us who you are. Why is he going to rack a bunch more charges on me? Well, you're going to you, catch for charges you for your honest? lying right now. Yeah, right now you're catching charges for lying about your name. All right, then rack it up good. I ain't going to tell you. That's fine. That's your choice. Just remember you had that option, and you chose not to take it, OK? Damn. It was a stolen bike. You got a possession charge and the resisting and fleeing from us. <laughs> On our way to a burglary in progress, TPD officers are in foot pursuit right now. A black male suspect wearing a uh, black bandana over his face. Jimmy, I'll go around the east side. Can I get one outside of Can you tell me 97 on the 33 on um, Everclay 307? Where's your car? You got like a bag or something? Yeah. 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 This your car? Is your name Dave too? No, no the earrings are. are hey, the man, deal. walk. Yeah, but he was asking me a Don't question. Don't worry about that. I still walk over here. 
Stay still. Yeah, but if you're picking my pants up, you're picking my whole body, what you want me to do? Yo, watch it. My money's gonna be in property, right? Man. Get in the car. This accident is gonna stuff gonna be in property. First, they, he kept saying down that hall, but then I spotted him down there. I said, is that him? And they said, yeah, that's him. And as I'm running up here chasing him, he comes right here hiding from you. Yeah, he's hiding from me right get here. Get on the ground. I just barely saw him. All right. He had uh, that property in his pocket. Okay. So. Is it your store? Can we go inside it and look at it real quick, see what the damage that they did? 10-4. So what happened? I was making my rounds. The, the dispatch personnel, he told me that there was someone in the center court mall, which was at his kiosk. So he said he's seen them. You saw guys inside? Can you just show me exactly That's where he? Right here. I got a few my friends in the If you can see it? Yeah. That's where he came from. Broke open down there. That's what he broke. You guys weren't able to tell what was missing, or? I can't tell anything. But like they did say that they found jewelry on him. Yeah. So we I, don't know if it's ours or something. Else. We found some like diamond earrings, four Big rows diamond of diamonds. Earrings. I know, the square. Yeah. And the kite one, yellow diamond, yellow gold with, yeah, I know which one. Yeah. Mine. Yeah, that's the only thing that we. It's in a white thing? Yes. Yeah. That's the only thing that we found. We found four pairs of those. Four pairs, right? Yeah, that's mine. One carat diamonds, if you look on the, uh, there's 0.75 carats. Where were those at? Down there. Down there? Hmm. We're going to head back to the district office and we're going to talk to the suspect and get his side of the story. Can I just get your side of the story about what happened today? I think what I know what happened. Okay, well, let me know. Tell me your side. I just saw 35 bucks on top of the counter on the side, and I took it. I stood in the mall because I just stood there thinking. I, would, I didn't even realize it was closed because it was, I came out of the movies late. So anyway, I took it. Where was the earrings when you took it? Where the money was at. Okay. Did, uh, did you not know there was cameras there? Did you really think you were going to get away? I didn't, I didn't think about no getting away and not getting away. All I thought about, I just saw it and I was like, well, I don't see nobody. And if, 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 if I don't see nobody, if I don't see nobody else, then I ain't gonna give it up. Shouldn't have done it, right? What I took? All the stuff that was recovered off your person, out of your pockets. What? Everything you took, we got back. Now you're empty handed. Like I said, crime don't pay. 